Hello and welcome to Just Tech Talk. In this channel, I talk about different tutorials, walkthroughs, installation videos, troubleshooting videos. I do reviews of some products and unboxing of the products. If you are new to this channel, just click on subscribe and turn notifications on so that you get the notification about all new videos. So today we are going to look at how to migrate whatsapp gold database to another server without the disruption of whatsapp gold or without breaking whatsapp gold insulation so we will need to have five steps process basically so what we will do we will copy the old database from our old server we will restore the database to the new server then we will create a user account and grant that user db owner permission on the restore databases and then we will update the odbc 32 bit connection and the last step is to run db migration utility or configuration utility from whatsapp gold so if you see over here i have my old database server where i have my whatsapp gold database and uh, other databases so we need archive uh, nf archive netflow and whatsapp gold databases normally these are the three databases which are there but majorly we are concerned about whatsapp gold uh, whatsapp database uh, depends on what is the name at your end you will take the backup of this and taking the backup is pretty simple you will need management studio you will right click on management studio of course you need to have permission to do that and you will click on backup once you will click on backup you will provide the file uh, name basically and the path uh, basically to do that you can click on name select the path and then provide the file name and just simply do the backup so the process will take some time based on the database size once the backup is completed, you will have your databases backed up like I have already done. So I'll just show you my database backups are already there. If you see over here, and then we can just simply copy these databases to our new server. And once we'll have it on the new server, the other part what we are going to do over here is pretty simple. We just need to re restore those databases over here so in this case what i'm going to do i have already the copy of my databases from my old server database server over here i'm going to restore these databases over here where i'll say restore database okay and in here basically what i'm going to do is while doing the restore because i do not have that in my backup area i'm going to select device and i will point to the file where my databases are the backup of the database file is available so i'll click on this rather than going into the default path I will point it to the and I will click on this WhatsApp over here. Click OK and I will just simply restore the databases. Same process I will follow for other database which is my NetFlow and the nf archive databases so you can see it says database whatsapp restored successfully and you can see the database over here similar way i'm going to restore my other databases over here now once these are restored the other part what we need to do is to basically have a user account which should have db owner rights uh, to do that basically first of all you can verify what rights do I have on my old database. So 
So if you come over here and right click on the user and click properties. If you go to user mapping, you will see that this user has DB owner rights on my databases. Similar way over here, you can see, right? So, what you will need to do over here is you will need to basically do the same thing in the security. I'm going to create a user I'm going to name it as I will say SQL authentication for example and I'm going to name it as all right I'll just copy this Okay, now I'm going to click on this user, go to properties, user mapping, Select my database and provide DB owner permissions to my user. Right, just to verify, if you go over here under user mapping, you have DB owner available over here. Now the next part is to basically configure my ODBC connection. So for that, I'm going to go back to my WhatsApp Gold server and open the ODBC data source administration 32 bit because my policy says I should be changing my credentials. So I should log in first. All right and see it is asking me to change my password okay now this is done so depending on the source basically you will need to update the odbc connection so because i am using new sql server so my sql server needs new driver so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on add over here rather than odbc driver 13 i'm going to choose 18 over here based on of course your uh, sql database server you will be choosing the required database driver uh, i'm going to click on finish then i'm going to name it as whatsapp and over here i'm going to provide my server details Click on that, uh, click on next, but because WhatsApp is already existing, it says, do you want to override this existing connection? I'll say yes over here. There is a catch uh, in my version, uh, which I'm going to show you in next step. So basically new version of SQL servers need uh, the trusted part of the certificate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on next over here and click on trust server certificate. If I don't do that and I try to change the default database, I'm going to get this certificate chain was issued by an authority that is not trusted. To avoid that, I'm going to click on next over here first, click on trust certificate 
go back change this to my database click on next next test database connection and you see test completed successfully and you click in ok finish and you see now it is configured with the new database now similar way I am going to use this NetFlow to point it to the new database and over here I'm going to update my credentials going to click on finish now the connection is successful click OK and I'm going to click on finish but we are not done yet we still have the last step which is to configure the remote DB config so if you want to configure that you will come to your installation folder and under WhatsApp you will see remote DB config so you will right click and run it as administrator and over here what you are going to do is you go, are going to point it to the server name which is your new server from here you can also select your server okay and then over here you will put up your credentials and click on connect and now that's it it should bring up this existing database details over here for you and create backup for existing databases if you want you can do it otherwise uh, up to you I do not want to do it I'm going to you uh, I'm going to uncheck this create backups for existing databases and I'm going to click on Now this is completed, which means update is successful. Now if I go there and open my and as you can see, I'm able to browse without any problems. And you can see in the system services and databases are available over here. And you see it doesn't have express edition, it has enterprise edition over here. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked the video. Hit the like button, leave a comment below to let me know what do you feel about this video and till next video take good care of yourself bye